Hey guys, what's going on? It's Ben from Body Balance, and today I am going to talk about the importance of, and I'm going to show you how I pre prep all of my snacks. Because while it's so very, very important that you make sure that you make the time to meal prep your food, just so you know that you got the whole week ahead of you with at least that one meal that's the hardest one for you to get. If you know you got that one pre prepped, you don't have to worry about anything else. And then you're on your way to seeing those results that you want to see so much in the gym. Super important. Now, here's the thing. We need to be eating about every three hours, which is the reason why it's super important to make sure that you pre-prep your snacks. So the last couple of videos that I made, I was just showing you how I pre-prep and meal prep my food. Now, check it out. I'm going to say it again, guys, because I know I say this every time. This works for me. I found what works for me. It might not work for you. Some people don't like to eat every three hours. I love to eat. That's the reason why I said, you've heard me say this before, that's the reason why I got to be so stinking fat in the first place is because I love to eat. And that is actually the reason why I decided to do my food. And notice I didn't say diet. That's the reason why I decided to do my food because I saw somebody on TV talking about how they lost like 50 pounds in a matter of like six months. And they did it simply by going for walks and eating every three hours. And I was like, shoot, I can eat every three hours. I was so sick and tired of these like restrictive diets and everything that, you know, like the soup diet, the grapefruit diet, the two shakes and a sensible dinner. Really? Like you're gonna tell me that I'm gonna have to have two shakes in the morning and one in the afternoon and then sp supposedly have a sensible dinner? totally didn't work for me. Now, this is what works for me. I'm not saying you have to do this, but I'm saying this. If you've tried everything else and you haven't tried this, there's a lot of science behind this and I know it works because it worked for me. And if it works for me, it can work for somebody else. So, it's super important for you to eat every three hours, which is the reason why you need to make sure that you absolutely positively have your snacks ready to go because if you have your snacks ready, just like if you have your lunch ready, there's no reason for you to stop by the vending machine and getting a bag of Doritos or a Snickers bar or whatever is in there because there's nothing in that vending machine that's going to be good for you. So this is how I do it, guys. Right now in the phase of training that I'm in, I am shooting for 1,500 calories a day. Now, I eat every three hours. My meals... My meals are about 250 to 270 calories, and my snacks are 200 calories, give or take, right? So I got a little bit, a little bit of wiggle room um, inside of there for 1,500 calories, and this is simply how I do it. I'm gonna eat my breakfast, which is 250 calories at 6 a.m. Come nine, I'm gonna have my snack. My snack is gonna be 200 calories. You see. The cool thing is, guys, this is the reason why I was able to do this is because I was never hungry and I was never full. And if I did it right, it seems like I'm eating all day long. So a little hack, if you are going to try this, if you eat something and you don't have that satisfied feeling, get up off your butt, go do something and get your mind off it. Because seriously, in like two and a half hours, it's freaking time to eat again, and it's amazing, and it just, it simply works. It simply works. The premise behind this is that you're consistently feeding your body. So your body gets used to eating and taking in that nutrition, absorbing that food, and then it thinks that it doesn't have to hang on to anything, and it's just going to start to let stuff go. Now, here's the really cool thing. You're always half full, right? You're never super full. You're never empty. You're always half full. So by the time nine o'clock comes around and I've burnt up my 250 calories, probably shoot by like 7 p.m. a.m., I'm going off of fat for fuel for those other two hours. So just me walking around, just me getting up from my desk and going to get some water and grab some copies that I printed up, I'm going to be burning fat for fuel. That is the reason why this works, guys. And I'm not saying it works for everybody. Don't get that messed up, right? There's a lot of people out there that like to do the intermittent fasting and all that stuff, and that's totally fine. That's great. Whatever works for you, as long as you are eating. Plain and simple facts, guys. Check this out. You have got to, got to 
eat yourself thin. You've got to eat yourself thin every three hours. So here we go. Now, this is how I figure out my food. I'm going to grab my phone. And what I have here today is I have some red grapes. I've got some big old huge oranges. And I've got some almonds. Now, I eat every three hours, right? I have lunch at uh, breakfast at 6. I got snack at 9. Lunch at 12. Snack at 3. Dinner at 6. Snack at 9. So I need three snacks a day. So I'm going to make like... I'll make one day's worth of snacks and we'll call that good. So I've got my almonds and I've got my oranges and I've got my red grapes. Now what I've got to do is I've got to figure out how many calories I'm going to eat. Well, I already know that because it's 200 calories, right? I already got that figured out. So I'm going to grab some baggies here. So super important guys, this is what we've got to do. So I've got almonds. Now if I took this bag of almonds to work with me, there's a lot more calories in these almonds than what I need, and I would continue to snack on these, which is simply the reason why I've got to put them in baggies. So I take exactly what I need. I take just the food to work with me that I need to get me through the day. When it's gone, it's gone, right? I'll have it if I want it. I'll eat it when I need it. If I'm super, super hungry and it's not time to have my three o'clock snack yet, well, maybe I'll eat it. But here's a simple fact. When it's gone, it's gone. No going to the vending machine, guys. So I'm gonna grab my phone and I'm gonna get on my net diary. I'm gonna use my MacroFit toolbox that I use. And this is how simple it is, guys. This is so easy. This is so, so, so easy. I'm gonna get in here and I'm gonna type in almonds. Almonds. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna figure out how many almonds it takes for me to come up with 200 calories. Almonds. Right here, right here, right here. See, so super, super simple. I'm gonna put in ounces because I do everything. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna go ounces. I'm gonna go individual almond. Right here, twenty. Let's see. There. No. All right. So while I'm simply doing is I got almonds in there. I have them individually set out, and I'm just putting in individual almonds. So fifteen almonds. All right, 15 almonds, not quite 200 calories, so I'll go 20, not quite enough, 25, almost there, 29, perfect. So 29 almonds is 201 calories. So I am simply going to pour out my almonds and I'm going to grab 29 of them and I'm going to put them in my baggie. Now this is one day's worth of food, guys. One day's worth of snacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Here you go. 29 almonds right here, 201 calories. I'm gonna take exactly this to work. So I know for a fact when it comes snack time, 201 calories, I'm gonna put it on my phone naturally before I eat it so I track and log all of my food. So snack number one, all right? Probably have those at about nine. Now here's another thing. Don't tell me that you don't have time to eat these. This is 29 almonds. Like this will be gone, that, that's one mouthful. That's one mouthful, you have time to eat 29 almonds. So here we go, I think I'm going to do my grapes. So I'm gonna type in red grapes, red grapes. So I go to my net diary, the microfit toolbox that I use, and I'm gonna type in red grapes. Red grapes, red grapes, red grapes, red grapes. Okay, so I'm gonna put in ounces. I'm gonna go by ounces this time. So how many ounces is it gonna make? Three ounces, five ounces, six ounces. Is Six ounces is 128, I'm looking for 200. So eight ounces, nine ounces, 10 ounces. There we go, perfect. See, 10 ounces, 10 ounces is 100 and, uh, I'm sorry, 213 calories for 10 ounces. So I'm gonna take these with my baggie over here and I'm gonna put 10 ounces of grapes on my scale. 
10 ounces of grapes on my scale, I guarantee it's going to be a whole ton of, um, of, of grapes. So here we go, guys. I hope you can hear me good. So I'm going to Z everything out, put it on ounces, and here we go. I'm just going to take 10 ounces on my scale of my red grapes. Look at these things, man. Don't these look good? These look stupid good. 10 ounces is 200 and 13 calories and you know what if I eat one at a time it's gonna take quite a while to eat all 10 ounces and I am okay with that why because I love to eat me some food 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 so at the end of the day my meals are about 200 to 280 calories but seriously guys I am pushing seven to eight hundred calories per day in my snacks because that's just how I roll so I eat all stinking day long all day long all day long all day long if you like food here's the deal if you like food and if you like to eat which is probably the reason why you think you need to lose weight anyway is because you overeat try this Seriously, I'm eating all day long, all day long. Every single one of my clients that say, you know, oh my gosh, I'm not gonna lose any weight. I've been eating all week long, every single day. I'm eating, eating, eating. They come in and they dump weight because their body is not hanging on to anything. And that is the reason why the body lets it go. You see, our bodies are these amazing storage machines and all they do is store, 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 store. So if we just get the body to think that it doesn't need to store anything anymore by tricking it, by consistently eating all the time, guess what? Amazing things happen. Now, dude, check this out. Holy crap, look. That's 10 ounces of freaking red grapes. That's insane. Look at this. I'm going to put this in here. Put this right in here. All right, check it out. Here is, look at this guys, I mean come on. Eat one of these, one at a time. This is gonna take you 20 minutes to eat. 213 calories right here of grapes. So, what I got, 201 in almonds, 213 in grapes. Now I'm gonna go for my orange. So, first things first, I'm gonna take it to my phone and I'm gonna put in the MacroFit Toolbox oranges. So I'm gonna type in orange. And again, I'm looking for 200, 200 calories. And I'm gonna go by ounces. So I hit the ounces button, and let's start with 10 ounces. 10 ounces is only 139, not quite enough. Let's go 13, 13 is 181. Let's go 14 ounces, 194, 15 ounces, 208. So, grapes, I'm sorry, not grapes, oranges. 15 ounces of an orange is 208 calories. That's pretty darn cool. So here we go. I'm gonna peel my orange. Now this is only, I'm only gonna do one day's worth of my, my uh, snacks for you guys, but I want you guys to just get the gist of it. I want you to guys to just get it down and I want you to see exactly how little time this makes. And man, I'm telling you like the time it takes to save, you're saving so much time at the end of the day simply for the fact that you don't have to worry about your food, right? I mean, people go to fast food. What, what's fast about fast food at lunchtime? When everybody and their brother is at lunch and you're just sitting in the drive-thru, by the time you get your food, it's time to go back to work. How about this? Take your food with you, eat healthy food, eat good, wholesome, fulfilling food that's going to help you Get the goals that you want that's going to help you achieve what you want to achieve in the gym. That's going to make you healthier. But check this out. Now you got your food with you while everybody else is off running to like Del Taco or Panda Express and they're waiting in line. You're just sitting there chilling, relaxing, taking an actual break. That's amazing, right? Do that for a change. So what I say, let me look at my phone. I'm looking for 15 ounces. So I'm going to come over here to my scale. I'm gonna Z it out, I got it on ounces, and I have, look at that, ha! I got 11.75, so I need more of an orange. More of my orange. So there is nothing faster than popping something in the microwave, 
for a couple of minutes. So I pre-prepped my meals. I made 34 of my meals. Um, they're all ready to go. They're already in the fridge. I did that earlier before I did this video. Because like I said, the last couple of weeks, I did my video on uh, my meal prep. So I figured it'd be a good idea. Actually, I had a special request. <laughs> I had a special request to do my snack prep. So, you know who you are. Thank you. Good idea. All right, so I'm at 11.75. Here I go, 11. Oh, a little bit too much. A little bit too much, a little bit too much. 13, 14, 15 ounces. There we go. So I'm gonna grab my baggie. I'm gonna put my oranges in there. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Look at this, look at all this food, guys. Look at all of this food, holy crap. Look at this, this is amazing. This is amazing. So I've got 208 calories right here, 208. So here is my, that's like a massive amount of oranges, guys. Ridiculous amount of grapes. And I got my almonds right here. Great snacks to have. Now, here's the deal. This is gonna take quite a while to eat. Now, you know what? This one's gonna take a long time to eat. Now, I could have a Snickers bar for roughly about, about the same amount of calories. And I'll, uh, I'll tell you what, that Snickers bar is full of junk. It's full of sugar. There's really not a whole lot that's good in there. And it's gonna take like, I don't know, maybe a minute and a half, three minutes tops to eat. This is gonna take me about 15, 20 minutes to eat probably because I'm gonna eat one at a time. I'm gonna eat one at a time. And the amount of things in here that's good versus the Snickers bar, it's like night and day. So seriously think about your snacks. Your snacks, in my opinion, are more important than your meals because your snacks are gonna get you through that meal time. And like I said, you wanna make sure that your snacks are super, super, super high in your calories and your meals are a little bit lower, right? So I'm pushing about 250 and I'm gonna be eating a ton of snacks today, ton of snacks, ton of snacks. Track and log your food, guys, so you know exactly what goes into your body. I know the amount of macronutrients, my proteins, fats, and carbs that I put in, depending on the type of training that I'm doing, that is what I'm gonna choose that's, that's what I'm going to go by. That's what I'm going to choose by, right? If I'm doing like more weight training, I'm going to have a little bit more protein. If I'm doing more endurance training, if I'm out running, if I'm training for a half marathon, I'm obviously going to have my carbohydrates a little bit higher. So I'm going to be changing up my meals, but my snacks are predominantly going to be about the same. So give it a shot, guys. I know it sounds like a pain, but the MacroFit Toolbox and the MyNet Diary makes it so incredibly simple to do. It all comes down to putting the work in. You are always going to get out what you put in. And if you ask me, I'm worth the little bit of extra time it takes to prep my food, know exactly what's going into my body, taking into consideration what I'm eating by tracking it with my food. It works. It's worked for me and it's worked for a ton of other people that I've worked with, but you have to want to do it. You have to want to do it. This is a lifestyle. It's something that you can't do for about three weeks. Honestly, do you really think that years and years of making bad food choices is just going to go away and be completely erased inside of, you know, a, a few months? Like, it seems like all the, 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 the fad diets out there, it's like the magic number. It's like 90 days. But it takes about 90 days for you to maybe start seeing some of those results and really takes about 90 days to start actually getting in the habit of some things. But erase that way of thinking, right? We have to rewire our brain how we think of food how we eat our food, when we eat our food, and it needs to become a lifestyle. Now that's easier said than done, but if you fall off, just get back up on the wagon and keep on rolling forward, guys. I will talk to you soon. Take it easy, guys.